All right, now that we saw how to build the structure to do Mr. Good Egg, we're now using Amy Rademacher's nice table that's already built, painted, and as Amy was telling us, this, this, this structure right here was used just less than 48 hours ago at a Progressive Ag Safety Day. So we're gonna give you a little demonstration and, and again, what you need to do to set up your table. This program, the Mr. Good Egg, was actually written by Henry Cole out of the University of Kentucky. So we wanna give Henry a shout out and let him know that a lot of his research and, and education materials are still being used at Progressive Ag Safety Days. All right, what do we have on the table here? We have some a drop cloth protecting our table here. Uh, as you notice down there on the floor, we also have a piece of plastic laid down there. So if an egg happens to roll off the table, we've protected the carpet down there. Uh, so you're gonna need some plastic uh, to cover your table. Uh, you're also gonna want a roll of duct tape. We use the duct tape to uh, use as seat belts when we get ready for Mr. Good Egg. Uh, on the tractor here, we'll be putting the seat belt on him. And we also have some markers here. As you see, uh, Mr. Good Egg's got the smile. And uh, Amy was telling us at her safety day, uh, she lets the divides the kids up into groups and sometimes they name their egg. And sometimes it may be the teacher's name or one of their names or a made up name and draw faces. So again, it gets the kids involved and it personalizes, personalizes the display. All right, for cleanup afterwards, again, you might get some egg on your rollover table. So 409 is something that uh, seems to work real well in cleanup, paper towels, those types of things you're gonna wanna have on hand. All right, as we move down here, you're gonna notice we've got three different eggs here. Uh, obviously, we're going to run the egg here without the rollover protective structure. And keep in mind, if a tractor does not have a rollover protective structure, it will not have a seat belt on that tractor. Because if this tractor is involved in a rollover, they're hoping you are thrown clear. So there will not be a seat belt on a tractor that does not have a rollover protective structure. That's why you don't want to use those tractors in dangerous situations. All right. Then we also have uh, the second, this will be the first egg we roll. The second egg is the questionable face because then we're gonna put the questionable face on the tractor here that's got the rollover protective structure, but they forgot to put their seat belt on. And then the third one we're going to do is Mr. Good Egg with the tractor, with the rollover protective structure, and wearing a seat belt. So you're gonna see all three of these demonstrated here as, uh, as we go down, uh, down the table here. So let's take a look at these. Move some of these out of the way. I don't want that egg falling off as I'm moving it around. So I'm just gonna set that on the table for now. And we're gonna start out with the tractor with no rollover protective structure. Now, for those of you, again, that watch the video on how to build this, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen here before I bring the egg. I'm gonna be pulling the tractor up here, like this, and as the tractor comes over this trap door, keep in mind this could be some along the road, a road ditch. This could be a waterway in your field. This could be a creek bank or any type of a incline uh, along your, your fence line and things like that, that you never know when it's gonna cave off or that type of thing. And then as that tractor gets over here towards the trap door, such as this, remember that trick block we put down here? The rope that comes out the back, and I'm gonna be pulling on that, and the tractor rolls. That's, that's the activity. So now let's put the egg on there and do the demonstration now that you know how that's going to work. All right, so we have the Mr. Bad Egg right here because he doesn't have a tractor with a rollover protective structure. He doesn't have a seat belt. 
And here we go, we're bringing our tractor along here. And as he comes up the ramp and coming across the field, and then all of a sudden, all right, now, kind of roll this egg a little bit over. As you can see, the egg didn't make the fall. And that's what the kids need to learn, the importance of that rollover protective structure. There was nothing there to protect that egg. Egg representing you, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, who was driving that tractor. Again, tell a story, you've gotta make it personal. You've gotta bring it back to real life. But this egg didn't make the trip. All right, and here comes the second egg up the ramp. Again, keep it in mind, this one does not have, they failed to put their seat belt on. And the farmer's up here coming across the field right next to the creek bank here. Gets a little close to the creek bank and what happens? Oh, as you see, the rollover protective structure kept the tractor from rolling over, but being that they failed to put their seat belt on, you can kind of see what happened here. That person probably suffered a fatal crash. Had they just had their seat belt on, they would have been protected by that rollover protective structure. And now the third egg that we're going to roll here deals with the tractor that does have the rollover protective structure and they're using the seat belt and we're gonna see how that protects the egg. Couple hints here as you get ready to build your display. As you can see, this rollover protective structure has been added to this tractor and that's fine as long as you uh, uh, build that so it supports it and, and you explain that that didn't actually come with the tractor, but you can buy tractors that have rollover protective structures already on them. The secret is, is how big a spot do you have here for the egg? As you can see, this is a large egg and there's not much room between the seat and the steering wheel of that tractor. So a medium egg might work better in this display. So those are some things that you might want to uh, experiment with before your safety day. Also, we are drawing faces and things on the egg. And keep in mind, we've got the eggs out a little earlier so they weren't sweating. If you take them right out of the refrigerator and they're cold and you get them out in the weather, they're gonna sweat if not, uh, you're not gonna be able to draw on it and those types of things. So you might wanna get your eggs out a little bit because you're not gonna use them anyway. They're gonna go in the trash when you're done. All right, so here we go. We've got the, the rollover protective structure we're going to use a piece of duct tape here as our seat belt. And so I'm going to put this down. Oops. And again, it's pretty close between the steering wheel and the egg, but I'm going to try and get that down here and come around the back. So as you can see, Mr. Good Egg now has the seat belt on. We brought the tape around here, maybe touched on a little bit on the egg on the back here, keeping that egg securely inside of that rollover protective structure. And let's see what happens here. So as they come up the ramp, tractor's coming across the field. And here's the rollover. Wow, it worked just like it's supposed to. The tractor went over on its side. The rollover protective structure kept it from rolling over and crushing our driver. And as we pick this up and look at it, the egg is perfectly fine. So this gives you a video here on how to build this Mr. Good Egg rollover structure some helpful hints of tractors and what to use in this demonstration. And uh, it, you can also make this hands-on. The kids can draw the faces, write the names on the eggs. You can also let the kids pull the string as the tractor comes up the ramp. 
The kids can actually be pulling the string, getting them involved. So it is a hands-on activity and it's high action. It involves broken eggs. What else could go wrong? Have a great time with your Progressive Egg Safety Day.